Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck and we are back in EverQuest on Project 1999 and I am on Malagdori doing some blacksmithing again so I thought I would show you what I'm doing exactly. Uh, as you can see I have these small bricks of ore. Uh, I put two in at a time plus one flask of water and combine them to get a sheet of metal or sheet metal and um, you take two sheet metal plus water and a um, mold and you create banded armor so it takes a little bit of time to get it set up I suggest and have learned that if you're going to be doing blacksmithing specifically dealing with um, with this portion of it that it is best to uh, I'll know what I'm doing um, I'm not paying attention to, uh, apparently um, but it's best to get probably a few stacks of sheets done before you even start blacksmithing because you can see that um, I am carrying just one backpack and I was over um, over 200 weight whenever I started so I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this and I will um, return once I have about half this bag or if not this whole bag full of these plates Okay, we are back and I have four stacks now of uh, these plates 
And originally, whenever I was doing um, the banded armor, I believe that the molds were only, re uh, that you could only purchase them in certain locations like Freeport and whatnot. But because someone was asking for help to pick up some molds, I ended up finding that the actual banded male um, boot molds are actually here. So, or the banded uh, molds are here. Now, the best mold for me to do are the boots because they only require one plate per plus one water and so on. And so that is the plan, is that I'm going to go ahead and fill up all 40 slots and then start doing the blacksmith thing. So it should be pretty interesting and I will meet you back at the forge. Okay, we're back. Now, I went through and did about two stacks worth of plates before I noticed that I wasn't recording. So, um, as you can see here, these are the skill points that I've made in blacksmithing off of um, the first 40 plates that I had. So, let me go ahead and get back to it. And... Um, We'll go ahead and get some boots made. Now, I wanted to give you guys some information about myself, why I haven't been playing as much as I would like to, and really they're not excuses. They're just explanations, really. Um, um, so... I've been really busy with work, and again, no excuses here, just giving you guys information. And because of the kind of stress I'm under at work, I don't feel like playing when I get home. I'm not one of those people who can come home and play and feel better. It's, I'm not one of those kind of people. I can't, I can't get on some game and just start killing things. It doesn't work like that for me. So, um, what I've been doing is pretty much just coming home and sleeping because I'm not sleeping well because of work and whatnot. So, I just wanted to get that out of the way. That's why I haven't been posting a gear or feather or um, cords or malactory videos or anyone. Um, I just have not been feeling up to playing so i plan to try to play more it's just a, a thing that uh bothers me right now and until the issue is resolved at work um i will probably be playing whenever i can so the um the things i've been uh wanting to bring up or note um at least make note to is there has been a big shift on the server to go away from what um, what was tr not tr so much traditional, but what originally was a system that the GMs and the players had agreed to, which was the charts for um, for the contested and non-contested raid mobs. And, um, what has happened is there's been guilds that have formed specifically for the idea of bringing chaos to that system. So instead of, um, saying, saying, put us on that list, they're saying, well, if the mob's up, we're going to take it out. And I can see that idea that they are in a raid guild they want to raid and they don't want to feel like they have to worry about it of course these people are going against raid guilds who've been on the server since way before they were even um a fleck in the eye of the mother of whoever person has created the guild but they um 
<laughs> they are feeling um, as if they deserve something uh, over someone else. I guess I guess that's how how you could see it is that they feel that they don't want to be just another number in a guild that they have to be in the guild for so long before they can even um, use DKP in whatever rate it is. And then whenever they have the DKP, they're fighting against people who have been in the guild longer who already have DKP built up. I guess, uh, again, this is just more speculation than anything else. Um, but I guess that's the only reason I can see that... Um, these kind of guilds happen because you first had um i don't even want to try to pronounce the name but it's dolja whatever it's um based off of the last boss in velk's labyrinth which is a um a uh, um a zone in vilius and then there's rampage that just came out and other guilds just that have been made previously before these other two guilds really became part of the so-called scene. Um, and pretty much what they are is just people out of other guilds, a team and um, the, the Dolja people. And it's pretty much people just splitting off because they're tired of being um, told what to do instead of being in charge themselves, I guess. Again, speculation. I don't know what the mindset of some of these people are or any of the people are. I'm just saying this is what I would s suspect is the reason that they're doing this. So anyway, that's been happening on the server. And um, it's... They're, I guess they're making a little bit of impact. They're getting into a few raids, I guess. But they're really not doing anything to affect, say, TMO or any of those guilds. Because if they really wanted to go into a zone and try to take on a mob that TMO is trying to take on, it pretty much isn't going to happen. Because TMO can bring in a whole lot more people than they can than they can it, so I don't know it, it's just one of those things that it's kind of another thing that's happening on the server that is kind of gossip and kind of drama and will be gone probably in another month or two uh, if the guild or guilds or guildies last that long <laughs> Um, so again, speculation, not trying to remark on anyone's play style or reasoning for doing what they do. So, as far as my characters go, and Malik Dory specifically, I have been struggling not to, not to play him, uh, before, um, my friends get to, um, get, get on to play with me, or the reason that I originally started this character. And they've told me to go ahead and start playing, but I can't do it. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to start building up his gear. Um, want to get him, of course, mastered in all of the crafting that I can. And I also want to get um, him some items, specifically. Like the... Um, the... Uh, the Zilliot's uh, Incarnadine Blade is kind of high on my list. I kind of, I'm almost willing to trade my Knock Blade for it, and then try to save by porting um, to get my Knock Blade back because it is one of my favorite uh, weapons. The thing does 28 damage at level 12, so yeah, I, I definitely want my uh, knock blade for tanking but even the the zilliot's blade could be used for tanking with how fast it is um oh i guess i'm done with all my plates time to make more plates but 
Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update. What's been going on with me? What's been going on in the game? Um, one thing that you guys might want to know is that these, um, these boots, they sell for just under what you put into making them. Um, the, it takes two bricks to make one sheet. Those bricks are five gold a piece. That's one plot. The mold is another plot. And then pretty much I don't even count the water um, in the pricing. So it you get two plat plus gold back. So it's, it's a good investment. And especially if you are from the town that you're, you're crafting in, it's, it's going to be uh, worth, worth it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get back to making more sheets. And I uh, hope you have a great day, great evening, and a great night. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.